everybody, it's haul day, and this week I have another amazing haul for you. This week I focused, well, it was supposed to be basics and leggings, but then nothing came in at the right time, so it's like a mix of sparkly stuff and leggings stuff, and completely unrelated to any of that, I wanna show you my nail polish. I did those myself. I'm real proud. <laughs> anyway, so this week I'm gonna try them on. I'm actually on a mission to find the best pair of leggings. I have been asked to do this and I found good leggings for like a condition, but I haven't yet found like the leggings to have. So I will let you know when I track said miracle mythical unicorn leggings down. I just have not found them yet. So with that, I'm gonna jump right into the haul. Bad, 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 bad boy. You make me feel so good. You know you make me feel so good. You know you make me feel so good. <laughs> so the first item we have is from City Ch Chic. I want to say City Chick, but it's City Chic. And it's this lovely faux leather jacket with moto detailing and a faux leather collar. Not faux fur. A faux fur collar that you can actually like take off of it. So it's completely removable. There's like little loopy details uh, at various points in the jacket to take it off. Um, I absolutely love this jacket. It is made of vegan leather, which I thought was gonna smell, but it doesn't smell that bad. I've already worn it. It's gonna be in this week's lookbook. It's amazing. And this is actually really soft faux fur, whatever that is. Um, the details are in kind of a brass color here. There's two pockets down at the side and a full zip up. The construction is quite nice. It's got an acetate lining. Um, one thing I will say is the arms were a little bit tighter than I would have liked them to be. So if you have larger arms, I would recommend sizing up just to have more room in the arms, thinking about wearing a sweater or anything else underneath said jacket, you're probably gonna need that extra space. But I do love the details. That's quite fun there. So truly a nice moto jacket, traditional black, but with that added flair of the fur collar. You know what I feel like? I feel like that statue that they give at the Oscars, but like sexy. Then I have a fun little copper jumpsuit. Shiny, 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 shiny. I bought this from Charlotte Russe during Black Friday because I have shopping problems. It has, I think these are about a three quarter length. They're not quite a full length. And so I scrunched them up so they're like blousey when I wear them. And I think that looks better. There's a crisscross here. I will say if your ladies are smaller, I feel like I'm a little bit exposed here. So I would recommend safety pinning because yeah. It is that sparkle fabric with like a little bit of the gold lame. It's not a full treatment. So I'd say it's a little bit hotter and it is a fully synthetic material as you would expect. This is a bargain item. I think I paid $20 on Black Friday and I have to give like a little bit of shout out to Charlotte Russe. I've just recently started shopping there and honestly I've been really impressed. It's not, you know, Saks Fifth Avenue. It's not super high quality, but when you're looking for fast fashion items, things you might wear five, 10 times in a year, but not every day, they're a really solid bet. I mean, this copper gym suit is gonna be amazing at my holiday party. It's what I plan to wear. And for 20 bucks, if I spill wine all over the front of it, if I rip a hole in the butt, if I light it on fire, it doesn't matter. So I've been really happy with this. And also, copper's my color. So the next item I have actually comes from your requests. A lot of you asked me to start trying some items from Avenue. So I actually reached out to the team in Avenue, requested a couple items. I'm gonna show you two of them today and I'll show you another one in another haul. Uh, I just didn't wanna have like 30 pairs of leggings in the same haul. Maybe I'll do a giant legging review haul when I get all of that figured out. So <clears throat> the first thing, it's a black jumpsuit with a little bit of an exposed shoulder. Now I like these because when it's exposing the shoulder, I love my shoulder shape, it's really nice. But I feel like when I have a slit right here, it does add width to the arm just visually. And I look on proportion because my arms already are out of proportion in my body and is drawing attention to it. Not I really care, I still wear things like that all the time. But if that's something you're cognizant of, if you have a larger arm, you're gonna want the slit to be here and not here. Because what this is actually gonna do is draw the eye up to your shoulder and pull it away from the larger area. So that's why I really like this jumpsuit. It comes down, has a nice little scrunchy detail, and then it actually has culotte style legs. So it's a very wide leg. Check out the width. And a tie waist with a black tie. So I'm excited to try that on and start giving Avenue a chance, because so many of you guys have asked me, how do they fit, and I'll let you know. So real talk, I just tried to put that jumpsuit on and 
There's no way. There's no way it's getting over my butt. And since I like have to be pretty much like stark naked to get it on because it's a jumpsuit, I'm gonna spare you guys the video. So it happens. It's the first time in a long time I bought something and it just not even close to fitting. <laughs> Actually, I didn't buy it. It was a gift from Avenue. So I'm sorry, Avenue, it doesn't fit. I can't wear it. So moving on. <laughs> okay, it may not be the most fashion forward thing, but it sure is comfy. What? The next item is just a comfy travel dress. I like to have dresses that are sweatshirt material or even like big t-shirty kind of material that I can wear when I travel on planes. And I just found out recently I'm gonna be doing so much travel in the beginning of the year. I'm going to India, I'm going to Europe, I'm going to Tokyo, like a lot, a lot of travel. So on my mind has been must buy travel dresses. Now a travel dress for me is usually like long sleeved so I wear you know something underneath and I don't get cold on the plane because sometimes I have to sleep on the plane and it sucks. So this is just a standard front sweatshirt dress. It comes, you know, mid, mid kind of thigh. But on the back it has a really nice cutout detail so it makes it a little bit different and fun. This is from Maurice's. This is another brand you guys asked me to check out. I have two pieces from them today. So I am excited to kind of give them um, a try. One thing I did notice that was kind of interesting, they reversed the sweatshirt print and you can see this closer. Do, 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 do. They reverse the sweatshirt and print to add a little arm detailing, which I think is quite nice. I like little flourishes like that. And I do like the raw hem here. It's a nice soft material. It's not terribly warm. So I was expecting a full sweatshirt. And this is more of like a, a terry, not like that soft terry cowl, but like a light cotton, lightweight sweatery thing, sweatshirty thing. So I like it, it's just not as heavy as I thought it would be, so I'd probably have to bring a jacket too if I were to wear this on the flight. I hate society, I hate propriety, I just call they money. Whoa, uh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> ah. Next we have another item from Avenue and I've actually already worn it, I know I love it. It is an off the shoulder, again, talking about exposing the shoulder versus the arm slit for me because that's a style thing, with a nice bell sleeve at the elbow. And it goes to, you know, it's a longer cut shirt, which I like, and it has this nice red sparkle weave on a black finish. So if you look up close, ooh, sparkly. Um, that is how the shirt looks. So I'm actually really in love with this shirt. And the funny thing about the shirt is I didn't think I would like it, like it at all. When I picked it, I was like, I'm gonna do this as a challenge. And then I got it and it looks like balls on me. And I was like, mad at myself because it made me realize how many things do I avoid that have like amazing potential that could look freaking fantastic on me because I have my own preconceived notions of what I can wear. So a little inspirational tip there, try things and maybe you'll look great. These are the best pants. Best pants in the world. The next item I have is also from City Cheek where we got the City Chic, sorry. I just wanna say cheek. I don't know why, maybe because I'm cheeky today. These I've also worn and I'm obsessed with. They are a harem style pant, so the crisscross in the front. No, these are not real pockets. The pockets are actually hidden in here, which is a little weird when you have them on. These are decoration, like if I unzip this, there's no, nothing in there, I can't put anything in there. Nothing can fit in there. But these are super comfy. I also got these for traveling and I'll tell you what, these are going to be my travel staple. In fact, I'm thinking about doing a video when I start doing this crazy travel I have planned. I'm gonna probably have to be gone for like a month not coming home. So I'm gonna do a, like a whole video about how to pack for a month long trip and how you take five, 10 items and make them work for an entire month. And these, 100% guarantee will be in those 10 items because I'm obsessed with them and they're so comfortable. They're um, a jersey knit, like kind of that rayon jersey knit and they're just comfortable as all hell. They're amazing, get them, worth it. Sign of approval, five out of five, would recommend. They're pretty dang comfortable but this is like not a very supportive waistband. You can already see it's a little, yeah, it's gonna fall right down. So I bought these because I just like sparkle. These are also from Charlotte Russe and I was like, I want gold lame leggings. In fact, 
I own so much Gold LeMay crap now, I'm gonna have to like live in Gold LeMay in January. Cause now like 20% of my wardrobe is Gold LeMay. But is that a problem or is that a gift? Again, these are actually pretty light considering they're a coated Gold LeMay. The fabric themselves that they're on is like literally very thin jersey. So they're quite stretchy. They are pretty see-through. So I would say, um, you know, maybe the Gold LeMay hides it, but I just have a feeling if you rock some dark underwear under this, you might be in for some trouble, but I think I got them free, so I'm not even going to complain. Like, they didn't give them to me. I paid for them, but I think I got it was like buy one, get one free, and this was my free. Because Gold LeMay. Sparkle butt, sparkle butt, sparkle butt, sparkle butt. And the last item I have is also sparkly. It's a pair of black leggings with that kind of silver thread through them. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Um, these are also from Maurice's, and I got them because they're fleece lined. So soft, so soft. Um, I got them because I'm going to visit my parents in Ohio, and it is cold as all get out there. And I was like, I can't survive this in normal leggings. I need to buy like a snowsuit and yeah like there's snowsuits in plus sizes not cute ones so i was like please lined leggings to the rescue um they feel really soft in the inside like i would not gonna lie if these don't fit i can totally see myself working on a project like this like at home because it's like a blanket except maybe like with that over look i just invented a new trend Oh my gosh, it could be a shrug. Holy crow, look at the genius you're gonna see right now. You would never know. If I didn't tell you these were pants, you would never know. You would think this was a shrug, right? So help me God, I'm a genius. I'm a genius, guys. I just, boom, blew it up. So those are my items for today. Uh, I'm really like, I don't know. I, I want to go buy summer things now. Like I bought a whole bunch of winter stuff and I love all of it. But now I'm like, um, swimsuits are starting to show up. I need like 40 of those. Of all the things I buy, I have a like an addiction to swimsuits. It's bad. But I bought a bunch of stuff for my trip to Jamaica, which I'm going to show you guys in next week's haul. But I felt like it needed its own haul because it's all like cruise wear. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, this is really comfortable as a shrug, guys. Like, can you see the crotch? I hope you can't like see a crotch because there's like no triangle there. Is there? Is there a triangle there? Does it make you stare? Is there a triangle there? Or does it look better? Because if there's no triangle there, I'm gonna wear, wear these pants. So, 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 so much for watching. I always have so much fun making these things because who doesn't love trying on clothes in their living room? Duh. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe, wherever that button is, and let me know what items you liked, what you didn't like. If you have a brand for me to try out, drop it in the comments down below. In the description is links to everything I tried on. You guys have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll check you later. Peace.